lying dormant under a baseball field and parking lot in the historic town of Lahaina, is a special place revered since ancient times. This hallowed site is in the ancient crown lands of Ahupua Awaine'e, which follows a freshwater source from high on the misty slopes of the West Maui Mountains, down the Kaua'ula Valley, and into a large freshwater pond here in Lahaina. That freshwater pond was known as Mokuhinia and contained a one-acre sandbar island called Mokuula. This was a home to the high chiefs of Pi'ilani since the 16th century and a royal residence for the Kamehameha line in the 19th century, when Kamehameha III ruled Hawaii from Moku'ula, when Lahaina served as the Hawaiian Kingdom's capital. To learn more about this hidden Lahaina treasure, we met up with Blossom Fatera, executive director of the Friends of Moku'ula. We've been able to document that uh, Ali'i has lived on Moku'ula since as far back as the 15th century. Uh, beginning with Pi'ilani. He was recognized as the unifier of the island of Maui. I am a lineal descendant of Pi'ilani. We have 17 generations of my family that come from this place. My grandfather used to come and kahu this place. He was born in 1891, and he was taught by his father to come to Moku'ula and what this place was. When we talk about the connection between the past and the future, and the role that Moku'ula can play, um, one is Re-establishing our sense of identity, who we are as a people, and the things that we were capable of back then, tells us that we can be capable of those things again today. One of the only ways that we can re-establish our presence here as Native Hawaiians is to restore some of our history. This stuff is my story. We want to make it everybody's story. And we're going to start that process at Mokuula. Today, the Friends of Moku'ula, a nonprofit organization, is dedicated to breathing new life into this sacred site. In a multi-phase project, they have committed to restoring the royal complex at Moku'ula and working with government entities to revive the pond of Mokuhinia. A group of archaeologists came over. They did the first archaeological inventory survey in 1993. And lo and behold, guess what they found? They found Moku'ula. The Friends of Moku'ula and the County of Maui actually partnered with the Army Corps of Engineers back about 10 years ago to bring them in with the understanding that they would be responsible for restoring the pond. The county contracted with Cultural Surveys Hawaii. Uh, Tanya Lee Gregg is a field archaeologist and so they've been charged with going to key areas around the island to identify the exact perimeter and where it's located. I think the significance of, of restoring this whole place is to bring back Lahaina as a, a center for Hawaiian culture and with this place as the pico for our people to have the honor of helping peel away the different time layers to reveal what was here before when Lahaina was the uh, Venice of Hawaii and filled with water ponds and inland ponds and lo'ikalo just to have a glimpse of that come back is really what I find to be the most meaningful in what we're doing here today. As a Native Hawaiian archeologist, I feel like it's an honor and a privilege to be able to work and use my training to assist in the restoration of, of a place that was so spiritually important from both our ali'i heritage as well as our spiritual heritage. We try to envision what Moku'ula, um, the island in the middle of a fish pond would look like, where you have hales that were used by the ali'i for sleeping and eating and meeting. You had a rock wall that was about nine courses high out of the water with taro, with a medicinal plants, surrounded by this crystal clear water with fish in it and plants. President of the Friends of Moku'ula, Kimo Faulkner. Where we're sitting right now was the island. This is where Kamehameha III actually lived and ruled from. Uh, behind me, between myself and uh, Waiola Church, this was a big pond. It was a fish pond. So the Native Hawaiians functioned this area for fish pond use, but mostly it was a freshwater source. And it's because of that water that the original people that came here settled in this area, 
water or vi, fresh water, is one of the most, if not the most important resource for Hawaiian people. Here in Lahaina, water was very abundant. If you go, I don't know, half mile south, half mile north, desert. This place year round had water. It is an ancient area for gathering of Hawaiian people because of that water source. They didn't have pumps, they didn't have wells. And you're out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, so fresh water is absolutely imperative. They made it possible to actually bring fish that can live in fresh and salty water together, and they can farm those. If you look at fish ponds outside, like on Molokai or even Lanai, old fish ponds, they go to the shoreline and they build the things outside. This one is actually inland and it's fresh water flowing in. So that's a very unique and unusual type of system for Hawaii. I mean, you don't find that too often. So the fish pond was a swamp that was cleared out. It wasn't something really deep. You could paddle a canoe on it. It was a pretty large um, pond. It was probably around seven acres. Moku'ula became Moku'ula when the high chiefs began residing on it. I believe it became that because they found the importance of the water source and the ability to sustain themselves. But it grew into something much bigger than that. So it became an actual island in the middle of a pond. And so you have your actual king living in the middle of it and all the important people living around it. After the capital moved to Honolulu in 1845, sugar plantations sprouted around Lahaina and diverted water from the underground stream on the mountainside into their fields. The freshwater pond that was Mokuhinia shrank into a marsh and became stagnant. The sugar plantation guys back in the day, they were just trying to do their civil thing by let's get rid of these mosquitoes. And so they brought dirt in, they filled it all in, but they didn't excavate. It didn't ruin anything. So hopefully, as we will find out when we start excavating more, it'll, it'll come out, it'll, we'll see it again, which will be fantastic. When I walk out here, I speak to myself and say who I am, speak my genealogy, because I know it's important. So it's very exciting to know that it's sitting here. It's there to be restored so that someday I'm driving through and I'm an old man, I look down, there's the pond that I can see and maybe it was something that my great-grandmother saw and her great-grandmother saw and for the future generations to see too and understand and, and Hawaiians from all over to come back and recognize what it was like before. The story of Mokula is a living story. One of the things we say is that the future lives in the past. Our past is very important to our future. Our kupuna believe that when you have a place with that kind of mana that is available to your people to be able to touch and feel and breathe, great things can happen because when you restore the spirit, you restore everything else. And so, you know, some people may think it's just an excavation project, but for our community, it is so much more than that because great things happen there. And we want to remember those great things and those great events. So when we talk about Moku'ula, this little island in the pond, it's important that we start to gather these stories of these different places and we begin to tell them the correct way. Because at the end of the day, when we put our heads down to sleep, we have to ask ourselves, did we honor our kupuna today? That is how we honor our kupuna. The Moku'ula Restoration Project, located at the south end of Front Street in Lahaina, is many projects in multiple phases over the next decade. To learn more about how you can help the Friends of Moku'ula restore this invaluable cultural site, call 808-661-3659 or visit moku'ula.com.